Hey Nova, so here we are right in the middle of our spring real estate market and I wanted to share the latest data for Fairfax and Loudoun County for the month of April. Now, the number one metric that we track on a weekly and a monthly basis to get an idea of the health of our real estate market is our inventory or our supply and demand. So this is defined as how long it would take for us to be out of homes for people to buy in any given location if no other homes hit the market. Now, to set up some context for this, anything less than six months of inventory is deemed to be a seller's market. Right now in Loudoun County, we have 0.96 months of inventory. So less than one month, it did come up slightly from last month that was at 0.85 in Loudoun Loudoun, but we are still under one month of inventory in Loudoun County. Now in Fairfax County, we are at 0.82 months, and this went down just slightly from 0.83 months last month. So in both of these counties, we are still sitting with less than one month of inventory. Now, coming into 2023, it was projected nationally that we were going to see an overall reduction in the number of transactions happen. And that's absolutely ringing true in Northern Virginia. So when we look at Loudoun and Fairfax County for the month of April, we hit 10 year lows for the amount of transactions to actually go to closing. So if we look back at any given April over the last 10 years, we were at the lowest number of transactions in both of these counties by a significant margin, by about 20% less than the next lowest April. So when we take that data point and we couple it with the fact that we have extremely low inventory, it should not be shocking that things are going for over list price. So in April in Fairfax and Loudoun County, homes were selling on average for about 102% of list price. So lots of buyer competition with low inventory and lower number of sales, prices being driven up. And many of those homes were going to closing with little or no contingencies in the contracts because that competition were driving people to put in very aggressive and competitive terms into their offers. Now, if you'd like to explore what this means for your individual situation, whether you're a buyer, you're a seller, or you're trying to do both at the same time, please feel free to reach out because keeping your finger on the pulse of what's going on in our local market is the number one key to your success as a homeowner, whether you have an impending move planned or not. So feel free to reach out for any advice or strategy about your individual situation.